Alrighty, well, it is March 7th. And we're having meatloaf tonight, baby. So, Amy is going to show us how to make it with venison. And we are super excited. So, here we go. Okay, here we are. And we are going to make uh, half venison and half ground beef meatloaf. We're going to combine it together. Um, I think it just maybe gives it a little bit more flavor. And that's what we happen to have. So, we're going to preheat the oven to 350. And this is, again, super easy. This is a very basic recipe. If you want to be fancy and do your thing, you go right ahead and I'll be real proud of you. You can tell me all about it, but I'm just going to feed my family with really basic things here. Okay. Um, so I'm just using canola oil. You can use whatever butter or whatever. Just put that at the bottom of the pan. And then you are going to, the meat would be very helpful. And first I'm going to wash my hands really good because I am going to be using my hands because I find that is the best way to mix up meatloaf. And venison and ground beef are the least invasive or dangerous meats to use with your hands, I think. Because if you're using chicken or something like that, you have to sanitize it and you really can't just, um, you really can't just use, you can't really touch the raw meat is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I'm, I just put this in, I took this out at about noon. Um, I put it in cool water um, to defrost it. And then I refilled up. And then I refilled up the water, fresh water about every hour or hour or two. So we're using half. We're using one pound of ground beef and one pound, uh, we're gonna actually use a half a pound of ground venison. So you just put this into the bowl. And I definitely found the best way to mix this is just with your bare hands. If you are, if you have an aversion to using your hands. You can always use disposable gloves and you can use um, a spatula or whatever you want. And then a half a pound of this. Okay, and then I just put my, I just washed my hands and I just mix those two together. Just so that somebody doesn't get just a bite of all venison or a bite of all beef. Okay, and then you're just going to add, um, I'm gonna wipe my hand a minute. And you're going to add the garlic and onion seasoning locally made in Michigan. This is probably my favorite product, if you can't tell. Super excited about using it. Okay, so probably like quite a bit, like four tablespoons maybe. And then just a pinch of salt, it's just kind of to taste. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Miracle Blend, which is um, it's like all purpose seasoning. So if you don't have Miracle Blend, just you don't have to use it, obviously. And if you want to use regular onions, you can just chop those up and put those in. You can use fresh pressed garlic. You can do it however you want. It's very easy and forgiving. So I'm gonna do probably a couple tablespoons of this. That might be a little bit more than a couple tablespoons.
And I always like an opportunity to use my tiny whisk. <laughs> so I like to beat the egg before I put it in just to make it a little more even. And plus then I get to use my tiny whisk. So, <laughs> isn't that cute? <laughs> so I'm just gonna beat the egg a little bit. I'm gonna add one egg. And then I am going to add some chives because we aren't putting any fresh onion in there. These are just chopped chives from Gordon Food Service. I get nothing for saying that, but I like them. So just as much as you want, that doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna put in one cup of milk. And then I'm going to crush up about, it's about a sleeve of crackers. You can also use breadcrumbs. You can um, take bread, especially if it's a little bit stale, it makes it really good. You can put it in a food processor if you want to. If you don't have a food processor, you can just rip it up and use a couple slices of bread um, instead of the crackers. And if you don't have this neat little um, crusher, herb crusher, then you can just crush it like this. You know, you don't have to be fancy, but I like the opportunity to use my little herb crusher here, so. Brush these up. And if you like it more fine, you could always put this into a um, food processor or your Ninja or whatever you have. those up this again is super simple it's tasty and you can make it however you want you can add or subtract just about anything with meatloaf it's very forgiving It's okay if it's a little messy. That might be good at some point to just mention the fact of how, how it's uh, all these ingredients across all these different meals that you're making uh, seem to be very similar. Mm hmm Yeah. And so for people starting out, you know, if they bought those special spices or things like that, mm -hmm. you know, it's carry a long way. Yeah, kind of like uh, what your staples are. Not for just the one meal. It's all yeah, that's meal. a good point. I'll even do that now. So you'll probably notice that a lot of my ingredients are very similar. So if you're just starting out, if you're just kind of newly married or just starting out with cooking, these are some of the very basic things that you'll want in your pantry. The garlic and onion, if you don't use this particular brand, just um, garlic, salt, onion salt, ketchup, um, all-purpose seasoning, chives, um, those are all great things to just keep in your pantry if you're just starting out. Okay, ketchup, that's a staple at our house. Um, Worcestershire sauce. I think our kids are texting us that they're hungry.
And you can get um, fresh garlic that's already chopped up. It comes in a little jar. That's always nice to have on hand so you don't have to, you don't have to worry about pressing your garlic. But don't be intimidated by pressing garlic because it's really simple. Okay, so that's probably a good amount. I gotta get one more thing. And then probably like a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Oop, it's okay if you spill it. Um, this is optional. If you don't have it, you don't have to use it. A little bit of vinegar can also kind of give it that tangy flavor. Okay, and now I'm going to wash my hands one more time. I'm gonna slip my ring off here. So I can really get down to business. The best thing to do is, if you don't wanna do this, you can use a spatula, but this is how you're gonna get it to process the best. Mix it right in with your hands. Just mix it in really, really good. And you can just kind of like tell if maybe it needs a little bit more, a few more crackers or breadcrumbs. If it's kind of, you want it to be a little bit mushy or moist but you don't want it to be totally runny either. So I'm just kind of folding it in there. Once I'm satisfied with that, just put it in the pan. Super easy. This is my son's favorite meal, so he loves meatloaf. Very picky, but he loves meatloaf. And I just, I'm just gonna top it with plenty of ketchup. Now everybody likes a different topping. Some people like ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. Some people like just ketchup and mustard. Um, whatever you want, but we just, yeah, bacon, yeah, you could put bacon on top, you could do that, but we just usually do a nice thick layer of ketchup. Okay, and now, oop. oh, I'm getting greedy now. Don't leave any on the side because it will burn. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for about 55 minutes. Okay, it's been about an hour, so I'm gonna check on the meatloaf. And I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's about how it should look. let that sit for about five minutes. Made a little bit of cauliflower mash and peas and a little bit of mashed potatoes to go with it. Okay, so we're gonna just cut into this. Just make sure it looks done all the way through, which it does. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. It's easier to serve if they're in half. It might just be all my days of children, but that's how I'm gonna do it.
It didn't come out perfectly, but you can just... I do enjoy pretty looking food, but it doesn't always happen that way. And that's okay. I suppose you're gonna force me to taste that. I am. Um, I hope you don't mind. And then I'm gonna just put a little fresh ketchup on the top because I know what Camp Benny likes. And then I have some peas with a little bit of sugar on the top. I don't know if everybody puts sugar on their peas, but my grandma always did. And that's where I learned that. You get what you get. They hold food. They do. They do the job. All right. Going right for the meatloaf. Excellent. Good. Glad you like it. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Oh, good.